Okay, I thought I'd make this real quick video here to reassemble the Cox .09 TD that I have. I took a dive, did a plug straight into the ground when I was doing a maneuver there with my control line ringmaster, which is now in a few pieces, but we're going to put it together and it'll fly again. But this has been all cleaned up and I've used uh, some after run oil on it to clean it up and got the dirt out of it. There was no dirt in here at all, okay, I just want to show it disassembled to a great degree. And what I wanted to show here was what I was flying with, okay? So I had uh, made mention in an earlier post that I had two Cox 09s that had this broken car body on there. This one's really crumbled away. When I started just pushing a little bit at it, there was cracks around it. It all fell apart. Likewise, here's another one. I had a big chunk that just broke out of it. That one I kind of hit the ground a little too hard and it broke off. I'll get those out of the way. This is the one that I bought on eBay, and I'll post the link to the seller on this. And this has worked really, really well. So uh, the engine started up just fine, ran really great. Now this is a machined aluminum piece, and I did have a little conversation with the gent that's making these. This thing is machined out, and it is really nice finish on this. I mean, if I made one of these, I probably wouldn't have gone so far with the machining. But the big difference that you'll notice is the uh, adapter hole here for the flute, the throat for the carburetor, or at least the needle valve assembly, that carburetor, it's round, okay, so you can see that it's it's round, and this has is squared off, probably easier to machine that way, no, no reason to have to spin this a different direction, I don't know how you would ever do that, I'm not a machinist, but uh, the other thing that I noticed was, just to keep in mind, it was no real issue, but it would have been another operation, perhaps an impossible operation, but if you can see in here, there's a little ridge running on the inside of here about, it's about a third of the circumference, okay? And what that does is it locks into this flat here, okay? And when you put it on, it doesn't twist. It just jostles just a little bit of slop in there, okay? And that is not reproduced in the machined aluminum one, which is anodized black. I mean, this is just really nice piece here. I bought two of them, one for each of the broken, uh, each of the, the broken uh, O9s that I have here. So I was just going to reassemble this in case some people out there might find it interesting. I don't think I've seen anybody assemble or disassemble this thing. Okay, so uh, the idea there, you just do this reverse to take it all apart. Put this collar on here and put the collar in here and so what you have to do is just hold it with your fingers align it as well as you can okay and then use your own nine tool or wrenches whatever this has the nice hook in there to tighten it with so you just hook it on the collar and I'm going to firm it up to begin with cinch it up just a little bit and that looks very straight and it might be off by just a bit I don't think it'll make that much difference if it were off a little bit just going to rotate that just a skosh and then cinch it back down again. Okay, so now we're cinched down. I'm going to give it a good torque off camera here. Now, if it were the plastic piece, you'd want to be a little bit careful when you squish down on there, okay, when you really press down on that. Okay, and that's pretty nice and straight. So you don't want to forget the thrust washer in here. And then this is the uh, prop adapter. It has splines on here on the drive shaft which match with the hole in this prop adapter. Okay, now that we have to press on, so I'll get myself a prop. There's the prop. Okay. Prop screw. Okay. And you want to get this on first before you do the assembly here because it has the function of how you get the wrench in there and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that up. And that's going to squeeze this new 7x4 prop that I have onto the adapter, and then the adapter will squish onto the uh, it'll squish onto the splines. And I haven't converted this one over to a hex head screw. As you can see, this one's a little bit 
mashed up a little bit, but still does the job. Okay, so I can see, I'm going to take it off camera a little bit so I can reach it better. And with about a number, another two turns of the screw, everything is now cinched down. This adapter is now, it's a little bit, a little bit of play there left over, just a little bit, okay? This happens to be a new prop, I just reamed it out. It's one of several I got off eBay, I collect them when I can. So that's all put together. Okay, now probably we're just going to, now that we push the prop adapter on there, I am going to take it back off again to get at the needle valve assembly. Okay, take the prop off. Okay, and then again, I did an earlier video about putting this back together again. We want the needle on this side and away from the prop toward the, the cylinder, okay? And one of the things you want to do is when you use this detent, sandwich it in here, it kind of keeps it together. If you have a plastic car body and a car body breaks, this flies off like it did with me. At least it keeps it together on the ground a little better. So I'm just going to cinch it up with my fingers. And you have to align the pieces so you get the, uh, there's a collar on that aluminum throat that has to match up. And it actually goes inside the brass piece, okay? And actually, you can give it a little bit of a turn away from the prop and get a little advantage on it. So I have this handy dandy, you can use your regular tools, but I have the handy dandy 09 wrench. And so you just get that on the collar and you start cinching that up. Of course, righty tighty helps, right? So I'm not putting my finger on the needle. I'm holding it way deep like this to keep it from rotating because I don't want to stress the needle at all. Okay. But I want to hold that back. I want to keep it a little bit of an angle on this. And I'm going to take it off camera here so I can hold it better and just finish it off. And not too tight. On the plastic ones, you really got to be careful so you don't strip it out. Well, that might be a little bit too much. I don't want it back that far, so I'm going to readjust it. I'm going to pull it back a little bit from the cylinder so your fingers aren't getting burned. Well, my fingers aren't going to get burned. It's just canted just a little bit back right now. It's all good. Straight, straight away. Straight in line is fine as well. It all well works. So I cinch that down not too tight to bear down on the threads that are inside the metal car body on there. And that's how you get them back together again. You can do it in reverse to get them apart. Drop my prop back on here. And once again, now we're finished, so I can put this together. And I have to rebuild my Ringmaster. Get it flying again. That'll be a week, maybe by next weekend if I hustle and don't get caught up in work too much. So now we just need to cinch the uh, prop in. We're not trying to squeeze the prop adapter. First thing I'm going to do is change this to a hex head, and then this isn't really adjusted for the correct flip. The flip should be more north like this to flip. That's my. That's why I like flipping it from here. And right now I have the compression. It's not lined up, so I'll just leave it at that. You can figure that out. There you go.